And it's another chaotic day at U.S. airports after yesterday's FAA computer system failure. FlightAware reports over 8,000 delays and over 1,200 cancellations right now after the agency grounded all flights across the country for hours yesterday. ABC News transportation correspondent Gio Benitez is at LaGuardia Airport with more. The FAA saying the catastrophic computer outage that led to an aviation meltdown in America was caused by a damaged database file. A senior official telling ABC News that file appears to have been a single engineer's mistake. During routine maintenance of the critical FAA computer system, the engineer reportedly replaced one file with another, not realizing what he had done even after chaos ensued and flights were canceled and delayed from coast to coast. When there's a problem with uh, a government system, we're going to own it, we're going to find it, and we're going to fix it. It took all day for airlines to get planes back in the air about 9,000 delays, more than 1,000 cancellations. A lot of frustration, um, a lot of confusion. This is something out of the control of the airlines right now. Lou Mangello's flight from Orlando to Los Angeles already started boarding when suddenly everyone was forced off. Everybody deplaned very quickly, very orderly. The Notice to Air Missions Computer System, or NOTAM, delivers critical safety information to pilots before taking off. To fix the issue, the FAA ordering the nation's first national ground stop since 9-11. We just can't fly without that system. Experts have long said the system is outdated. A source telling us a newer system would have caught that bad file. And Gio Benitez joins us now from LaGuardia Airport. Uh, Gio, you know, a newer system, as you said, may have caught these redundancies and stopped this cascade of failures. Uh, hearings are expected as a possible, uh, you know, talks about a possible speed up of system replacement. So put that all together for us. What is the status of this new system? Is this just a hypothetical or is this in the works? So, Diane, here's the short answer. We know, at least we're told, that there is a new system in the works. Now, here's the problem. We don't know when that system will be ready. We don't know what that system will even look like. But we do know that they're very much trying to figure out because this has been years. For years, pilots and people in the industry, they've been complaining about the system and saying, wait a minute, it's just way too antiquated. United CEO Scott Kirby, he's been saying we need to go ahead and update these processes make them a lot better for the pilots, make them a lot better for the crews. And that requires money, right? And so that's what Congress is going to be looking at. No doubt about it. They're going to be looking at this now and saying, well, wait a minute. Now does the FAA need even more money to make something like this happen and make something like this happen a lot faster? And that's going to be the key question. So, uh, Gio, is this something that the FAA has dealt with before or are we in uncharted territory here? This is unprecedented. We have never seen anything quite like this happen. And when you think about a national ground stop, for example, the last time there was a national ground stop like this was 9-11. But that one was intentional, right? We intentionally closed the airspace because we had that. This one's also intentional, but it was intentional as a reaction to this mistake that apparently happened with this engineer who had misplaced that file or put up a damaged file in the system and didn't realize it for all that time. Uh, so no doubt about it, they want to look at automation. They want to see how can we prevent this from happening? How can we prevent human error from causing something like this again? But yeah, this has never happened quite like this. And uh, they are really struggling today because they want to make sure that this doesn't happen again, right? Because the systems are still overloaded. Uh, we are not looking at a lot of delays today. That's the good news. But they saw what happened yesterday and how long it took to recover yesterday. They do not want this to happen again, Diane. Yeah, I think we've all misplaced a computer file or two. Unbelievable to think that it could cause this <laughs> kind of repercussion. Yeah. Thank God that doesn't happen in our business. Gio Benitez, uh, appreciate you yeah. as always. Thank you, friend. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.